Hello and welcome everyone to my channel of Profound Insights, a journey of learning, inspiration and discovery where you can learn, grow and share. Before we proceed further, please click on the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to get a notification of insight content and this will encourage me to come up with more such videos. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below and without further delay, let's jump right in. Job interview, prepare well for these questions. Introduction. You went for an interview and everything was going great until they asked you, have you ever had a bad experience with any of your previous employers? At this point, you may have a story to share and may think that the interviewer simply wants to get an idea about your past experiences. But let me assure you, that's not the case here. This is an extremely tricky question asked to assess a few things about your personality. So consider this a make or break situation. And no matter what you wish to say, don't badmouth your ex-employer anytime during the conversation. Now, you might be wondering how exactly answering this question with utmost honesty can backfire and lead to cancellation of your application. Here are some potential reasons. Criticizing your previous company or your boss may indicate that you lack professionalism and that you may well do the same to the organization you are interviewing for. The recruiter may consider you as an someone who isn't great at dealing with conflicts or is short-tempered. It may be viewed as an attempt to hide your shortcomings by highlighting and exaggerating the flaws of your ex-employer. Thinking about how to craft an appropriate response for this question, keep these pointers in mind. Don't let your emotions direct your response. If you wish to talk about a job experience that wasn't that great, ensure you maintain a neutral tone. Don't just transparently start speaking ill of the former employer or bring the focus on how miserable you were while working there. An overpowering sense of anger, frustration, misery or fear in your response may not work in your favor. Instead, lay out the narrative in a way that shows how you were able to effortlessly navigate through several tough circumstances at work. Keep it as short as possible. The trick to smoothly handling any inquiry about your previous job or employer is to keep your answer to the minimum. You can state the facts but not get too much into the details that can detract from the main focus. Talk about what you learned. Use such situations to your advantage to talk about how they amplified your professional as well as personal growth. Also assure them that it turned out to be a great learning opportunity for you and now you are equipped with the right set of skills and knowledge to easily sail through a situation similar to this at any given point in your career journey ahead. For instance, you can say that you are grateful to have experienced a conflicting situation as it helped you understand the importance of communicating effectively and working on your emotional intelligence. Convey that you are open to criticism. Any questions related to your employment history is a way to ascertain your strengths and weakness especially if your previous job turned sore for you. Hence, while addressing such questions, be clear that you are open to criticism and feedback, you are ready to accept your mistakes and learn from them, and you make efforts to humbly communicate the problem and leave no room for assumptions and confusions. At the end of the day, the interviewer is looking for candidates who are highly flexible and adaptable. Last, here are two possible responses to this question. Number one, no. I have never had any bad experience with any of my previous employers. Even if I had, I am sure it would have been a great learning experience. Number two, yes, but it was more of a challenging situation than a bad experience. Initially, there were some miscommunication between me and my employer, but then I gradually learned to clearly express my ideas, opinions and concerns. At the same time, I emphasize receiving constant feedback to stay engaged in the process of self-improvement. And this, of course, helped me build a strong relationship with my employer and gain their trust in my abilities. I hope you enjoyed this video and the information was useful to you. As we wrap up this incredible journey together, remember that the adventure doesn't end here. Keep listening to other such videos or profound insights under Career Conversations Navigating Success Playlist. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more insightful content and share your thoughts in the comments below. This will encourage me to come up with more such videos. Until next time, stay inspired and keep reaching the stars. Thank you.